Hello my friends, my name is Mohamed Naveed and this lecture I am going to teach you object menu in Adobe Illustrator. As you remember in the last lecture we learned transform, arrange and group and all these things and definitely in this lecture we are going to start from expand. So what is mean by expand and what is the work of expand let's see. Let's say if I have an object as, as I have right now rectangle it can be an object okay. And let's say if I want to work on every single piece of this object because as you know that if I take the help of selection tool and if I just uh, just let's say if I just want to move the fill of this object but if I take the help of selection tool so what is doing that uh, selection tool is moving both uh, fill and stroke but let's say if I just want to select a fill or just stroke so how can I do with the help of expand I can do what I do first, first I will select this object and then I will go in object menu and then I will click on expand and it's asking what do you want to expand do you want to just expand fill or stroke I say I want to expand both fill and stroke just uh, check these both options and just simply click on ok and now if I take the help of selection tool see if I zoom out a little bit so that you can see and let's say if I take the help of this one see see so right now as you can see that right now I have two uh, two things the, the first is stroke and second is fill getting me so this is the work of expand let's say if I if you have objects and if you want to work on every single piece of your object so with the help of expand you can easily do this getting me so this is the work of expand then we have the option of expand appearance so what is mean the expand appearance let's say uh, I take the help of this uh, what we have definitely pen tool and if I do something like this or if I do something like this okay it's fine so if I do zoom a little bit so now as you can see that if I take the help of direct selection tool or just selection tool so see that I have just one line huh? I have just one line and I can just work on this line okay but let's say again same here that if I want to work on this uh, this uh, this uh, this object as well if I want to just work on uh, on every single piece of this object so how can I do now I will select this object and I will go in object menu and at this time I will not click on expand as you can see the expand is disabled now we have expand appearance so simply click on appearance and now if I take the help of direct selection tool as you can see that right now I have two lines instead of one line so if I just take the help of this tool so if I take the direct selection tool so that you can see see so right now as you can see that right now I have two things getting me so with the help of uh, expand appearance let's say if you take the help of any brush tool or any th anything so definitely with the help of expand appearance what can you do definitely you can expand uh, appearance like brush or anything and if you have any object like um, rectangle so if you want to uh, get every single piece of your object so with the help of expand you can do getting me so this is the work of expand and this is the work of exp uh, appearance getting me appearance just work on uh, you can say color color or anything and uh, expand work on any object getting me then we have the option of rasterize what is the work of rasterize let's say uh, as you can see that right now I have uh, I have this definitely in path now and what is the work of path because if you if you work in uh, illustrator so we work on path means this line and what is the benefit of having this line uh, the benefit is that that if we have this line uh, these lines so with the help of this line if you zoom in too much so nothing will affect getting me so that is why we are using illustrator because we have path but let's say if you want to work with rasterize rasterize means that uh, the, the picture or the image you see in uh, in photoshop let's say that if you have your own picture and if you put your own picture on uh, you can say on any device or any let's say on if you work on uh, if, if, if you were if you try to work on your picture on Photoshop so if you zoom a little bit now so you will see that your pixel become pixelated getting me so same here if you want to make your object pixel uh, or li like the the, uh, the picture or the, the picture like in, if in Photoshop we have so with the help of rasterize you can do what you need to do you need to come in object menu and you need to click on rasterize and simply click on ok and now if I zoom in this object now you see see getting me so now see that I have this definitely this jaggy line or this raster so this is raster is getting me so pixel pixel based picture uh, then we have the option of definitely create a uh, gradient mesh definitely you know uh, object definitely we have done if you want to learn more about gradient mesh definitely you can watch my video on gradient mesh because I have made 
video on it and then same here that if you want to change the transparency or something so definitely you can also change here it means transparency if you want to change just simply check this preview option and just change something definitely you see a difference it means if you want to change the transparency of anything you can do uh, then we have the option of slice definitely we also have learned uh, slice that what is the work of slice in slice tool uh, lecture so if you want to learn more about slice so you should watch my video on slice tool uh, then last what do we have we have create trim marks so what is our create trim marks the the work of create trim marks is that let's say as you can see the right now I'm getting lines now huh? actually these lines are basically for the uh, are basically for uh, printers because we are giving these lines give instructions to printer that how to print getting me so basically these lines are basically for printer getting means how to take a print or something so this was a lecture on definitely expand expand PNs rasterize and and uh, uh, create trim marks in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you have understood. For more videos, lecture, and exercises, come to my website www.navitplus.com. I love you, Amanda, and I will meet you in the next. Till then, Allah Hafiz.